Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. So updating the table of contents in Adobe InDesign may look very simple task, but rather it's actually tricky. I will highlight how to update the table of contents step by step. So my document is ready and complete. However, I haven't updated the table of contents, list of figures and list of tables. Let's recheck the list if the page numbers match with the table of contents. So the introduction page is at page number 1. Let's click on the page number 1 on the page panel. Oh yes, it's same. Let's go back to the table of contents. Even the subheadings page numbers are correct. Now let's judge if chapter number 2 literature review is actually on page number 17. Click page number 17 on page panel. Oh no, this chapter isn't lying on the page number 17. So which page number is it present right now? Ah, here. Page number 23. Let's go back to the table of contents. Now, we need to change these page number values. It's time to update these numbers. Go to layouts and click update the table of contents. But wait, why is this grayed out? The answer is simple. We have not selected the table of contents area. These are the areas that must be selected before making any changes to the table. Select the table of contents, then go to layout and choose update table of contents. Now you see, updating the table mess up all the paragraph styles. I know this is very upsetting that you have to reapply all the styles again. Let's apply the styles once again. From list of abbreviations chapter number 1, I would apply paragraph style TOC1. By the way, if you want to know how did I create all these paragraph styles, I would recommend you to click on the card above, watch that video and upgrade your skills. So I just applied TOC1 paragraph styles. Note that the page number are close to the abstract and objectives. Let's click right over here and press tab to create the space. Notice this long text that shouldn't be here in this table. So this text lies on the page number 1. Let's go to the page number 1 and edit the paragraph styles of this text. The first paragraph. Let's click on it. And notice on the paragraph styles panel, heading 1 is applied to this paragraph. And why is this plus sign in heading 1? It's because the heading 1 paragraph style has been applied to the paragraph and the style has been edited manually into small fonts unlike the heading with big font and orange color. Let's apply body text style on this paragraph. Alright, let's go back to the table of contains. We better update the table of contains. Oh wait, it is grayed out again. You already know why. Select the table of contents and go to layout and click update table of contents. Bam! This big text is gone from the table. Success! Now let's reapply all the paragraph styles back to each of them. Notice this big tag that has appeared in the table after chapter number 2. Let's go through the same process once again. Go to page number 23 and select the paragraph and apply body text style. Now I will fast forward this video for final styling. We made it all the way to the final outcome. Now I want to update the list of figures. We are going to select the table of figures and update again similarly like we did before. Select 
the rest of the contain and apply figures list paragraph style. Notice this image has made its way to the table. This is because the figure captions paragraph style has been applied to this image. But how to remove it? Simple. Go to page number 17 and click on the image. Go to the paragraph styles and apply no paragraph styles. Now go back and select the table and select the list of figures and update it. Let's apply the same style to the figures once again. And boom, it's all done. Let's look at the list of tables right now. Let's go to the layout and update it. Thank God, no problem is found. Let's select this list of tables heading and apply heading 1 style. And also go to the list of figures heading and apply the same heading 1 style to this as well. I hope this tutorial helped you in all possible ways and you got your solution. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, peace out.